Hello and welcome to the Hoof GP. Today we are looking at cow 957 and if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll see me trimming her in a manual crush last week. So today I'm going to show you guys on YouTube exactly how we got on last week and how she's looking today. Okay, so you're gonna get a little bit of a backstory here, guys. So sit up, shoulders back, eyes front, and pay attention, please. This is a cow from a farm that I actually visit every two weeks. The cow's hoof care on this farm is fantastic, but this cow has been dry for around seven weeks, so she's only been fed, watered, and checked from a distance every day. She's not actually worked with every day, which is why this has gone unnoticed. But despite the fact that I'm there every two weeks, the farmer still phoned me the second they noticed this cow had a problem to see if I could make a quick stop in in between those two weekly visits and sort this cow out. That's why I'm using his crush rather than mine. And it's also why I'm using a disc that has really dull or blunt blades in it to make sure that if she kicks, I don't make a fatal mistake. Whenever I'm trimming a cow's foot like this, as soon as it becomes obvious I'm going to need a block, I get one ready, prepare the foot and get it stuck on there so that it has plenty of time to dry as I continue to trim the problem cloth. No, I did actually. Still is up and goes. The reason for the poor quality of the video in this clip, by the way, is because I was actually filming on my Instagram page uploading it to the stories for you guys to watch there, so I hadn't planned on using this in a video on YouTube. As you can see, now we've progressed through this trim, you can see that there is a real open and sore lesion covering that back third portion of the foot, and there's also digital dermatitis right up the top of the heel, so this is a very, very sore case for the cow. Although I did film the whole of this trim, I didn't film the whole of the procedure. After I finished trimming, I actually cleaned it down with iodine, packed it with embryonic paste and gave it a good wrap. Quite good for Instagram, wouldn't it? Yeah, for me it would look very good. And through the magic of editing, let's skip forward exactly one week. It's got an orange face. Hmm. It was that far away foot that was done. So we're gonna put her in. We didn't trim the other three foot because it was just a kind of emergency job coming to see her. So we're gonna trim all three feet and check the sore one. Bro, 
front gate I need some attention and our back ones are too. So we're just going to trim all four feet. So as you can see, we used a bovibond block here. This has all been trimmed away. But let's see how she's looking underneath there. There's actually a bit of a bandage on there still. He has taken off this side, but not this side. See, the denim has taken them off and he thinks he'd cut this off but actually there was still a ring of bandage around this claw and if we'd left that on it would have constricted right into our skin and really really caused a major issue. These bulby one blocks are great because they do flex a bit, they're much harder wearing than a wooden one but they do wear slightly as well. So a great mixture of everything. So if you look at the before picture of this, this was all red raw and open and so was this here. This was a white line lesion or an ulcer in a white line. And dermatitis, but there was dermatitis on this as well, which is why we wrapped it. So we're gonna go ahead, clean this up, possibly put another wrap on it, I'm not sure. see here, this is a really important bit to get rid of. This is still loose. It's hard to tell maybe on the camera, but that immediate edge, if you see what I mean, it comes to an abrupt halt, which means it's slightly loose. Craig just pointed out actually how much easier it is to work on a cow in a crush like this compared to a manual one. You can still get the job done obviously because it has been an effective trim but it's just so much better for me and for the cow to work in here. there's a slight amount of dermatitis here and a very slight amount still here but you can see all of the portion above my finger has actually died off but we're not going to scrape it or do anything like that we're just going to leave that like that because that is starting to heal just like down here all of this area has completely healed but this little spot hasn't quite managed to do it yet so this plate paste is a mixture of salicylic acid iodine different clays and minerals and all of them help promote horn growth and actually they work as an antifungicide. So in other words, they break down the cell walls of dermatitis, which then allows the body of the cow to deal with the problem that is the dermatitis. And that's her. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. We've got the base shield back. Told you to wear it all the time. Just in case you're wondering, I didn't trim her other three feet in the manual crush because it would have been so awkward and I could tell that she wasn't lame on any of her other feet. This back foot has a small crack in her white line and just dishing out that little bit, taking the pressure off it and transferring the pressure from that claw to the inside claw will completely stop that problem really getting hold of this cow. Her front feet are both fairly overgrown and her dew claws definitely need some attention. During this trim, just take note of how many times I'm actually checking the length and therefore the height and depth of this claw to make sure I don't go too far and make sure I do the best possible job for this cow. 
On this farm in particular, they used to get problems on their inside claw, round about the heely area in the white line. So you'll actually notice that on both of the inside claws on the front feet, I'll drop the height of that inside claw to take extra weight off of that problem area and hopefully stop a problem before it ever starts. So this is cow 957 and hopefully you guys will see that she is making really really good and rapid progress. So next time we come it will almost be healed but not completely but she will make 100% recovery. There's no doubt about that. She's walking miles miles better from what she did during my first visit. Happy? I really can't wait to get back to this farm to show you cow 957's true recovery. But until then, thanks very much folks and thanks for watching. to my eyes you can use them as a mirror you're my ticket to paradise